But you know we don't need a month to celebrate black history. Black history is American history. 247365. What's up, David Douglas? Welcome to the 2022 Black History Month Advisory. Although black history can't be contained in 28 days, we wanted to take a little time to celebrate and highlight some of our students, staff, and community members that make this place great. We hope that y'all enjoy what the Black Student Union has put together for you. From the Harlem Renaissance in the 1920s to the 80s and 90s hip hop era, black culture has continued to influence every aspect of fashion. This symbolizes the influence of streetwear on luxury fashion, which continues to dominate collections by black and non black designers alike. Hey, Happy Black History Month. You guys might wonder why I'm holding this flag for. I'm here to celebrate Black History Month and to make an awareness about the genocide that's taking place on the northern part of Ethiopia. Since November 2020, there has been no bank access, no electrics, bombing schools and bombing churches, and more. Today marks the 465 days of genocide. Our culture has produced some of the most talented musicians in the world. Music is one of the artistic outlets that black people have continued to thrive in. Did you know that our very own BSU member, David Hanuk, is a talented musician? Check this out. Our culture has so many talented singers that have a unique way of expressing themselves. Check out this performance of Kare and Alexia accompanied by Asia on the violin. And here is Stand Up. You get freedom calling, calling me 
First year, David Douglas High School has had a Black Studies history class for senior English credit. Speaking of Black Studies, check this out. What does having a Black Studies English class mean to you? Hi, um, my name is Amira. I'm a senior at David Douglas. Having a Black Studies class means that I get to learn more about my Black history. Hey, my name is Alex. I'm a senior. Having a Black Studies class means that I get to learn more about the things I haven't learned about and that other people in the class with me who are black or not black get to learn about it as well. Hi, my name is Joshua, I'm a senior. Having a black studies class means um, not only education for me on my heritage, but um, more importantly, education for white students on what it's really like to be a person of color. Hi, my name is Nikaja, I'm a senior. Having a black studies class means education. I feel like it's good to educate. We can't change the past, but by education, we can help the future. My name is Devontae. I'm the ISS monitor here at David Douglas High School, also the JV Boys basketball coach. Black history means to me, you know, just fight and resiliency, celebration of our people, and all the things that we've had to overcome throughout the years. I'm Mr. Matthews. I teach English for Black Studies class. It's a big responsibility as a white teacher teaching a Black Studies class, and thankfully I'm one of the co-teachers of it, working hand-in-hand -hand with REAP and some other Black educators in creating the best curriculum and environment that I can. I'm Greg Carrigan, Jr., graduation mentor at the high school. Black history means a lot to me, especially it's a, a lot of a lot of African American Black pioneers that's impacted my life, impacted my day to day. So anytime we, you know, get a chance to celebrate them for a month, I mean, I celebrate them almost every single day. But just for a month, um, it's 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 something that's 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 very important in my life. Something that I enjoy. And, um, I was able to, you know, throughout my life, learn about a lot of uh, black pioneers and uh, I really do enjoy black history and I'm glad that we got a black studies class going on at the high school. I think that's very, very important. So not only for, you know, students of color to learn about black history, but for everyone to learn about black history. Hi, my name is Tierra Primus. I'm an office assistant in the Career Center here at David Douglas. Black history means to me that I have a chance to truly take pride in being a black woman and my experience of being a black woman and reaching the point that I'm at today um, and having just unapologetic pride in that fact that I have made it to where I am and looking at the history of my people and seeing how far we've come. My name is Anderson Du Bois. I'm the strategic initiative manager for REAP. It means the world to be able to give back and I was just uh, in a meeting talking about the impact of it. When I was a REAP student in high school, I took a class very similar to this, which led me to go get a bachelor's in black studies, which then coming back in with REAP to be able to co-write the curriculum that's now being taught is the only like black studies class being taught at a high school like this. It's really huge. I think it's really momentous to be able to teach a class where in other areas of this very same state is being outlawed and considered illegal. Um, I think to be able to be in a classroom with students that are making connections with some of the histories and the, the events and the people that we're talking about is really inspiring to me. It, it, it reminds me of why I do this work. I'm the Ruth Brown and I'm the owner of Kingdom Pets. How long have you been in business? I've been in business 13 years. 
And what is it like being a black business owner in Portland, Oregon? I think it's very good. I think it can help up the community a lot. It's good to show people ownership. Um, it's good to just try, I mean, just to be a leader in the community, I think. I don't know. I love it. It's, really good. it's, like, it's some downsides to it, but it's mostly good. Uh, Enrico Cooley. Um, I'm a, a barber at uh, Kingdom Cuts. Why is it important to work for yourself? Um, I feel like it's good to give yourself... Uh, you know, okay. the feeling of, of being an entrepreneur, being a black entrepreneur, and then breaking um, the, 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 the systemic norms that they think you should go out and work for somebody and generate them a lot of money. Culture making me feel so free. Now I'm able to look back and say that was me. And alone in Steve Rosa Park, you see, she was one of the things that inspired me. No more handcuffs. She would not have ever seen when she was chilling on the bus. Yeah, she may have got arrested, but for the rest, that was a dub. Being black isn't enough. Every day we be in judge. If you all are in this with me, then we'll put our fists up. Being black isn't enough. Every day we be in judge. If you all are in this with me, then we'll put our fists up. My angel will talk with influence, read the lies. Her poetry inspired me, talk a pack of love. My fair poem by her is still alright. Main rubby dying history with a bad touch of love. Don't get me started on R&B. In 1940, we created it. You see, don't believe me, Google it. Ain't nobody new to it. Jazz got some blues, it's cuz. Being black isn't enough. Every day we being judged. If you all are in this with me, then put our fists up. Being black isn't enough. Every day we being judged. If you all are in this with me, then we'll put our fists up. Now we would like to honor Greg Carradine Sr. for being the first black principal in the largest high school in Oregon, David Douglas High School. We would like to commend him for his leadership and thank him for his many years of dedication at David Douglas School District. <laughs> <laughs> Richard and Seth Bezos. <laughs> <laughs>